What's going on guys? It's Renjen and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Um, it may look a little different from the previous videos in the series. Uh, should be zoomed in a little more. I got a comment telling me that it was um, a little too, well not maybe not a little bit, it was too small for them to see and you know I, I took a look back and was like yeah I am kind of typing this tiny text in half of the screen. So uh, I changed the the view and hopefully it is a little better for you now. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking a little bit a little bit more in-depth to lists, uh, a couple more things that we can do with them, and actually we're going to look at some for loops. So first of all, let's just uh, get a couple lists going. Let's go x equals, and why don't we just throw some odd numbers in there? Uh, not really any, uh, you know, real reason why, just, you know, rather than the, the bland old... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You know, you, we'll mix it up a little bit, make it a little exciting. Um, so what I did here is I just made x with one, two, three, four, and f or one, three, five, and nine. Um, and I have an empty list here, which is y. And uh, you'll see why I have this list y in a bit. See what I did there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to do a for loop. So, uh, the for loop, it's kind of similar to a while loop. I mean, they are both loops, but, um, you know, there are different, you know, what, let's say conditions that they run on. So, syntax here, we're going to go for, and let's go a variable. So, we're going to have a variable, which is just number, and in, and the list name, so in x. So what we just did here is we did for, which is just normal, you know, for loop, and number, this is a variable. Now I'll show you, uh, you'll probably have a better understanding when I show you in a second. I'll show you about this variable in a sec. But uh, then here, this in x is just kind of telling us, or we're telling the computer uh, what list we want to go into. So right now, we're just going to put a semicolon, and we're going to go down to the next line. It should tab you. Yeah, it does it for you, but uh, make sure you're always tabbed in here, just like any other loop. And let's go print, and two, let's go number, plus two. And what this is going to do, it's going to add this variable number, it's going to add two to that. And you'll see here, actually if I run this, you get three, five, seven, and eleven. And if you look, it added 2 to each of these numbers here. 3, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 9 plus 2 is 11. And that's what we have here. So it added 2 to every single one in this list. And number is, you know, the variable. And these, all, everything in your list takes the, the place of the variable. Now, if we want to let's say add them all up and then add them to this list so this list stores the answers what we can do is let's get rid of the print statement but we won't get rid of the number actually yeah let's just do it because I don't want my uh, spacing to be all messed up so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to use the append function or app and I think it's append I don't, I don't know I'm, I'm bad with that kind of stuff um, some guy, somebody said, like, man, what an idiot, man, you guys even know how to pronounce it. And I was like, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're already in X, so if we want to add it to Y, we're going to do Y dot append, and then we're going to do whatever, you know, uh, function we want it to do. So let's just do what we did before, number plus two, and let us print why so we actually see what's going on here all right so uh, three five three five seven and actually what did it do here oh I see yeah it, it actually printed out the the list by itself hmm, I didn't know it oh wait no it didn't okay hold on <laughs> I guess it just prints it out multiple times. Oh, yeah, because it's in the for loop. Hold on. Jeez. Brain fart here. All right. Print Y. So after the for loop, we're going to print Y. And bada bing. 3, 5, 7, 11. So now we can just, we can change this up, too. We can multiply it by 2. Where's the X? Or where the, there it is. 
a five, bam. I mean, and then this is all Y right here. This is your Y list, and it's, that's actually right here. So, you know, I think that's it for four loops, really, with lists, as far as lists go. At least that we're going to do in this episode. <laughs> um, I don't know, is there anything else I should do here? I don't know, I think I'll stop it there. I think we wouldn't, like, yeah, five minutes. All right, five minutes is good enough. Um, I don't want to make these too long, you know, and start to get bored. Like, oh, gee. But, you know, I feel like if I keep them to five minutes, you actually feel like you're making more progress than you are. Like, if I made, let's say, all of my series, like, my whole series were in, let's say, four episodes, and they were all, like, a half an hour each or something like that, you would feel like, oh, geez, this course is taking forever. But, you know, you have a bunch of short ones. You know what I mean? It's like reading a book. When you have a, a book with a bunch of short chapters, you're like, wow, I'm reading this fast. Look at me. Um, so I don't, I don't try to keep them too long, but, uh, so that's it for this episode. I hope, I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope you could help and four loops are very valuable. Definitely. I actually, um, had to do this for my midterm in my programming class. So it was, uh, came in handy. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment. And, um, that's it. Thank you, guys.